All right, guys, today we'll be looking at St. Arnold's Bishop's Barrel number 20. Uh, so this is their Sriracha Ace Double, aged in red wine barrels with uh, Britannomyces and raspberries. Been a while since I've um, had a Bishop's Barrel, but walked in total wine. They had some um, but the counter, so figured why not? Let's check it out. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so this one sounds pretty interesting. Uh, a little bit different. I think out of the Brett Bishop's Barrels, the kind of wine ones that I've had, I haven't been a huge fan of them, but, um, you know, that's why I wanted to see how this one turned out. So, check it out. I'm really hoping it ended up being the R18, but we'll wait for that one. All right, so pours out. <coughs> excuse me. It's pretty red type caramel color to it. Um, not uh, doesn't really have much or any kind of uh, haziness or turbidity. It's pretty translucent, and uh, it's got a slight kind of off-white sort of beige head. So check out the aroma. Oh wow. So on the aroma, it kind of reminds me of a Foley, actually. Um, it's got that kind of candy brown sugar with a hint of acidity and funkiness to it. Definitely wine, but not kind of like a robust red or anything like that. I think it says red wine barrels. I'd actually like, uh, actually like to know what red wine barrels they used. It's very fruity. It's slightly earthy, but I wouldn't go like a like a deep um, red wine. It's something like a Cabernet or anything like that. It definitely seems fruitier. So, I mean, if they use those barrels, I'm not getting a whole lot of that in the beer. But yeah, on the aroma, it really reminds me of a Foley Rodenbach Grand Cru. Those kind of uh, like a Flemish red or an Ode Bruin. So let's check it out. Cheers. A lot of that comes across on the taste, but it's not as tart, it's not as sour. Um, gotta get those dark fruits. Um, I'd say, I mean, definitely the raspberries coming out. Maybe a bit of, uh, um, I don't know, I don't wanna say raisin. It's almost, I, almost, I wanna say more like fig, maybe. Fig, um, raspberry. Uh, it's a bit oaky on the back end, but not too much. A bit earthy as well. It's got a light lingering bitterness to it. A bit of that, um, hint of a caramel kind of, um, like a red ale type of malt character to it. But overall, pretty solid. It has a lot of those characteristics that I mentioned if you've had La Foley or Rodenbach, just not as sour, not as tart. Um, so, <laughs> okay. Um, but uh, yeah, so this guy comes at 8.5%, not really feeling at all. Um, anyway, I wish it was more tart. Maybe it'll develop like that, you know. Um, but if, if this was had like lactobacillus or anything like that, I think it would be... Pretty, pretty good, pretty good stuff. But overall, um, I'm gonna go four out of five on this one. So, as always, cheers. And I'll catch you guys.